What is the best direction for a house to face in Florida? You have no idea how important this fine detail is when buying a property here. And I have a good feeling that your current or previous realtor has never even mentioned it. Hi, I'm Marco Terminesi. I am the number one most responsive and hardest working realtor in South Florida. You don't have time to waste on part-time realtors that are just out there for the commission and most importantly, aren't ultra responsive. I will even stop this video right now to take your call. My track record shows that I know what it takes to win and I will not let you down. The direction your home faces is easily one of the most underrated things that you probably have never considered when buying a property here in Florida. In real estate language, we call this orientation your home's exposure, whether it's north, east, west, or south, or anywhere in between, of course. And it has everything to do where the sun is facing throughout the day. So what is the exposure for you? That is the key question to making you happy with your home. And the answer completely depends on your lifestyle. This is not an answer like north. Well, okay, everyone just go buy north facing properties. Nope, it doesn't work like this. Well, in some cultures and for some of my clients, it is actually that simple. But for most people, it's truly a matter of preference. The first thing you should know when you walk up to the door of a home you are considering is the direction the house faces. The easiest way to know the exposure is to pretend you're standing at the front door of the house and you're throwing a tennis ball straight out the front door. Which way is that tennis ball headed? That is how I was taught and is, that is the trick to use to determine your house exposure. Okay, so now we are smart buyers and if your realtor is not telling you this up front, you need a new realtor because this is super important stuff and I will tell you just why. In Florida, we are known as the sunshine state because we get a lot of sun. When you have a lot of sun, you have a lot of heat and can get really hot down here. Sometimes it's great to have the sun and warmth while other times you really prefer to be in the shade. Do you and your family love the sun? and want to have a swimming pool in your backyard where you can lay out and get a tan? Do you want to have afternoon pool parties, barbecues, and entertain a lot in your backyard? Or do you want to enjoy the nice cool breeze in the backyard without the sun blaring on you in the afternoon? Would you rather not deal with a pool and find a cool comfort in a more shaded backyard? These are the types of questions I ask my buyers and they are huge. For example, I had a neighbor who used another realtor and they bought into my community. Right before they moved in, the house didn't have a swimming pool, so they built a $120,000 tropical paradise in the backyard with a pool and palm trees because the family loved the outdoors. But when they moved in, their house faced, it had west exposure, which means the front of their house was facing west. So the sun coming up from the east would go over their house by 1030 and cast a long shadow over their pool for the rest of the day, making it look a lot darker and not allowing them to enjoy the sun in the pool. They were so devastated. They hired me to list their house and sell their house and find another one simply based on the exposure. This is why you must know this before purchasing a home in Florida. Your home exposure here in Florida plays a major role in your lifestyle. My personal house has north exposure, which my wife and kids, we love because the sun comes from the east to the west and goes over my backyard and pool the whole day, allowing my kids and I to play in the pool, enjoying the sun, and gives my pool that Bahama blue color, which is gorgeous. Also, we like to entertain a lot with pool parties and barbecues, so we want the sun. On the other hand, I have an investment property that I rent out in the winter months without a pool since I do not want to have or worry about any pool maintenance. Instead, I want my tenants to be able to sit out in the backyard without that blaring heat of the sun that they're not used to and enjoy a nice lake view in the afternoon. So what exposure did I buy? If you guessed west, you are correct. That allows the backyard to be cool throughout most of the day since the sun is not shining directly in the house. These two examples are the basic exposures and it can get a little more tricky with others, but do not worry. When you are ready to buy here in Florida, please call me and I will walk you through all the steps to finding the perfect home. Hiring the right realtor with knowledge, experience, and high energy can truly make all the difference. I hope this video helped you learn more about the importance of home exposure and the direction your home faces and the importance it is to your lifestyle. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below and I'll personally respond. And as always, 
Call me, text me, email me, even FaceTime me, and I would be happy to help you. If you thought this video provided useful and helpful information, please slap that like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you can get notified every time I launch a new video. Make it a great day, and I look forward to seeing you down here soon. Hi, I'm Marco Termin. <laughs> I get in and say my own last name. So, what is the exposure for you? That is the key question to making your. <laughs> you, your, what the hell's the difference here, man? We're just talking English. Should I speak in French? In Florida, we are known as the Sunshine State because we get a lot of sun when. <laughs> Do you want. Uh, have. Uh, <laughs> Let me do that again. Since I do not have to worry about the pool maintenance and I messed that up. Make it a great day and I look forward to seeing you down here soon.